Hello, it's Thursday, April 16th. I'm Keenan Smith. The COVID-19 pandemic is still having a big impact here in Michigan. More than 1,000 new cases were confirmed in the past 24 hours, and that brings the state's total of confirmed cases to more than 28,000. The number of deaths increased by 153, bringing the total number of deaths to more than 1,900. Meantime, we've learned that more than 5.2 million Americans filed for unemployment claims last week. That brings the total number of unemployment claims to a staggering 22 million in just the past four weeks. The mounting unemployment numbers seem to fuel the debate over how long to impose stay-at-home orders nationwide. Today, President Trump is expected to make an announcement about his plan to reopen the country. And five children have been taken to the hospital following an apartment fire on Detroit's west side. The flames broke out this morning on Otsego Street near Joy Road, not far from I-96. The fire commissioner tells us one of those children, a three-year-old girl, is in critical condition. The other children, ages 5, 6, 9, and 10, all suffered smoke inhalation. The fire is believed to have started in a downstairs unit of that apartment building. Well, today we're going to have highs around 44 degrees. It's going to be cold and breezy this afternoon. Accumulating snow Friday morning, tomorrow morning, about an inch or two around Metro Detroit. Slightly higher tilt is closer to the Ohio State line. Back to the 50s then this weekend, warming up next week.